What up, guys? Uh, it's Jay Bory underscore 34Z. Uh, yeah, pretty much what we're going to do is we're about to roll out. Sorry, our cars right here. We're going to go to Punta Gorda, the parking garage. We're just going to chill. Techno merch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what's going on? What's your name, bro? Hey, what's up, man? My name is Angel, bro. This is my whip right here. This is the Honda Civic SI. Nice. Stock model for right now. And my baby gets me the point A and point B. It's beautiful. I love the detail that they put into the car. Yeah. Honestly. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't compare to my SI. That's just, <laughs> that's just my baby. Right yeah. I can't complain, you know? Uh, um, I would say one thing that's really whack is they won't let you test drive them unless you're straight up buying your car. Yeah. I tried to test drive one. They weren't letting me have it. I was probably going to romp it anyways, but yeah. Uh, on, to the, on to the cruise. Check the zoom out, check the zoom out, ready? That shit is sexy as f <laughs> oh. This guy's mad. He's so mad right now. Okay, so <clears throat> I got two two layers of the cloth in there. Um, it's starting to harden right now. Pretty much what the fiberglass sheet is for support. So when it hardens, it kind of acts as like a, a backbone. But I do know that when, um, obviously it's still indentated. I'm gonna fill it with Bondo and then I will sand it all down and then uh, rewrap it and it should be smooth and clean um, when finished. This is just pretty much for support. Um, I might add one more piece in there uh, later on um, when I do the other side, but for right now, I'm gonna let it dry. I pretty much wanted to tell you the reason why I'm actually doing this delete, reinforced it with fiberglass, is <clears throat> because these front fender 
fender flares actually grab right at the top. So it puts a lot of pressure on the distance between the lower end and the higher end because it grabs right about here. Turn this light on. Grabs right about here. And what I'm gonna do is reinforce it so it would never fall off or crack. I also seen a crack right here in the, um, the lip. So I'm probably gonna get the fiberglass kit, kit and fix that while I'm at it. And well, here's the uh, Bondo mess. it up, smooth it out, sand it down, and it should be reinforced with fiberglass and Bondo, and then once I get it smooth enough, um, I'll just wrap it. Alright, so I switched it up. Um, I was doing the 220, but now I switched it up to I think like a uh, 100, and the 100 is doing a lot of damage, especially on this side. This side had a lot more fiberglass work because it was a full cut through. This blinker over here was, you can see it's a lot smoother. It didn't need as much fiberglass because it didn't need as much support. But yeah, this one's getting a lot more smooth and I'm sure when I switch grits back to like a 500 to finish it off, maybe back up to the 250, put one more layer of Bondo to make it really smooth. Sand it down one final time and I think smooth enough for me to wet it down, clean it and possibly rewrap it. it should look mint. Okay, sadly, the time for the Mazda has come and we're gonna have to go ahead and undehorse myself into the car that I had originally bought in. I miss the Mazda. It's fun doing this little six speed, good gas mileage stuff. actually drives really nice, it's really smooth. Um, um, it definitely gonna be a little bit harder going for gas, gonna be taking a big hit on gas, but I guess that's what you gotta do to drive a truck. This is the uh, V6, so the 4.3 V6. I wasn't gonna be towing as much, so I went for the smaller motor, just to either save a little bit more gas, I think you save like uh, four, four to six highway city compared to the eight, 
It's got two back seats. There's not, not really any room for anyone back there unless the, the person scoops up. And then I have this third row, which this whole thing flips up and turns into a seat, which is okay. Uh, I don't think I'll ever have three people in it, if, uh, you know, ever. All in all, I really like it, and I don't really want to speak much about the price. I will say that this is one of the cars that I did pay a little bit more. Uh, there was an option that I could have pretty much paid a little bit less money and got um, a truck uh, with more miles on the motor, but I ended up going the route where you paid a little bit more to get you know less miles. I tried in the beginning to say that um, I wasn't going to <clears throat> do anything to it, but I already want to, you know, debadge it. Uh, I really want to get a wrap. I have deals on wrap because of where I work, and I would like to, uh, <laughs> I would like to change the color already. And I know I want to um, try and get these ugly wheels off, but that's later on. The wheels are later on the road after Thanksgiving. I know I want it tinted a little bit darker, and I want to get this front windshield tinted so the uh, when the sun comes out during summers, so it can really fight against those rays. So stay tuned for more videos on this Silverado.